Hello and welcome to another vlog. There's Cookie on the shirt. Today I'm going to do a bit of a monologue. I'm just going to be talking and it'll only be me. There's no going to be faffing on here and there, going on a boat, going on a bike ride, doing a photo shoot for Holly or anything like that. But hopefully it'll be quite informative. I don't know if you will find it informative. Actually, I'll tell you why I'm doing it. You know what they tell you, a problem, a problem halved, it's a problem shared. Half the problem, half, half the problem and, the, and you've shared it. Share a problem and you've halved it? Problem shared, a problem shared, a problem halved. I think. Yeah, share your problem, half it. And then if I share it with you lot, then I've halved it by, I don't know, 200. Therefore, I've really shared it then. Anyway, let me get on to the point. About a week and a half ago, Holly pointed out a ball patch on the back of my head. And do you know what? I didn't think I cared. I was like, whatever, I'm getting old. I'm going to be getting bald. I'm 38. I'm going to get a ball patch. And then she was like, nah, but that ain't, that ain't like a normal bald patch she was like it's not on the crown but near the crown and that ain't a normal bald patch and I kind of shrugged it off thinking I'd, I'd whatever I don't care don't matter maybe deep down I did care I don't know on the front I didn't care because I'm a brick wall got no emotion which you'll probably know by now I have no emotion do not give me emotion <laughs> not oh by the way I've got cookie here but we're looking after a, another dog called Nugget 2, who you might hear in the background every every now and again. A wee young pup, beautiful little dog, I tell you. Beautiful. <coughs> you can hear him now. He's a wee cute uh, Labrador. I think he's a Labradoodle. I'm not too good on the dog make uh, kind. I'll try and get, a, get him up to the camera in a, in a bit. But Cookie won't get off my lap. And I love Cookie on my lap. Anyway, then the other day I went to the barber to get my hair cut. Sharp, naughty sharp, naughty sharp hair. You had to get a naughty sharp haircut. Anyway, I wanted like I wanted it quite short, and I tell the barber to do a number eight on the top and do me a fade along here. Anyway, didn't have the have the eight. Then I went, well, just go down one. Didn't have that either. Just go down one. I'm not even sure what I've got on the top now, but I don't care. There's only a week between a good and a bad haircut. My dad told me that. And I live by that rule. Back to the point. I went to the barber and he's shaving the, the top of my head. <laughs> shaving away. And then out of nowhere, boom. Not moving anymore. And then I look up in the I look in the mirror. He's looking in the mirror, looking at me, looking in the mirror, looking at me, looking at my looking at the patch at my back, touching it, looking at me, looking in the mirror. Looking at the patch, looking at me, and then he continued shaving away, like for probably another half a minute or whatever. Then he got there again, looked at it, looked in the mirror, looked at me, looked at the mirror, looked at me, touched it, and then he went, do you know that you've got alopecia? Well, actually, he told me the Arabic word, which I can't remember. He didn't know the Dutch word or the English word. Yeah, he was telling me that I've got alopecia. So I put two, two together from what Holly told me uh, a week and a half ago and then what he told me, get my hair cut, that it was alopecia. Yeah, again, I, I, I didn't think I cared that much. I was like, right, whatever. Just, I've got alopecia, I've got a ball patch on the back of my head. Don't really matter. And then he told me what you have to do. You have to rub garlic on it in the morning and at night. And if you can, if you've got time, in the middle of the day too, and you gotta rub it really hard until you're, until you're nearly bleeding from that ball patch. I mean, lovely guy, and I thought, good tip, but do I want the aroma of garlic hanging around me all day, like when I'm at work and that, everyone will be like, who the fuck is that reeking of garlic? And number two, rubbing it until it nearly bled, I was like, is that not, counterproductive or you're not doing damage to like the the hair follicle or whatever I mean he might know more than me probably probably did well I didn't know anything about alopecia until that point so then I told Holly look at that cup of coffee by the way quite a belt of that innit anyway then I googled it and apparently 
alopecia, alopecia. <laughs> alopecia can be genetic and it can be non-genetic. And by non-gen, and by non gen and by non-genetic, they mean environmental, i.e. Actually, I don't know what I mean by non-genetic. -gen I haven't read that much into it, but bottom line, they don't know why people get alopecia. That was the bottom line. It can be genetic or non-genetic. Therefore, a bit of everything. Cookie's not got alopecia, look at that, full head of hair. And then I thought, well, what can I do? Like at the beginning, I didn't care, but then the minute I got out of the, the barber shop, I was like, oh, are people looking at the back of my head all the time now? And I kept feeling it. Is that, mm -hmm. Is that what people are looking at? Walking into the shop and like, I feel like people are turning their head and looking at it. Therefore, I think deep down I did care a bit. And then that's why I began Googling, can I do anything about it? I haven't actually done that much work to find out what you can do. Maybe you look could help. But what I am going to do, I'm just going to change my, change how I live a little bit. I'm going to cut down on my coffee. Caffeine could help maybe have a impact on the alopecia i don't know nothing behind that eat more fruit eat more veg go to bed on time get up on time go to the gym i mean i, I live quite a healthy moderate life anyway i don't do anything too heavy like a very rare i don't drink very often i go to the gym a moderate amount could do could do more what more yeah just eat more healthily i think what I did quickly read is that it can be that you're a short on a mineral or vitamin or two, like iron, vitamin D, I don't know. I should actually do more looking behind it. But what I'll do in the meantime, this is part one of the alopecia vlog. And from now, I'll, I'll do more homework. And then on part two of the alopecia vlog, which maybe I'll do in about a month to update you, check how we're going, tell you what I did. If it got better, great. If it didn't, not great. And what I did to make it get better. But a hard time yet to live healthier. Because people just want to be eating out and eating good food and drinking more than moderate, moderately. Anyway, there you are. Just wanted to update you on my alopecia. Oh, I'll try and uh, show you. I'll just turn around like that. There, have you got it? To do that okay hopefully that came through on the camera if not you'll just have to believe that i've got it i'm gonna make dinner for holly and i hard day at work i've had and then i've came home to make dinner for holly and take her out on the boat tonight and then i'll probably have to edit a video for her maybe that might be why i've got alopecia too much work are you watching holly enough enough I'm not enjoying it. I enjoy it now. Quite enjoy doing the vlogging for Holly. Look at me, just doing a vlog on my own. <laughs> in the flat on my own. Holly's not even here. She wanted to get a haircut and here I am just doing a vlog with my dog in my lap and one down there. Oh, I'll show you a nugget. There's Nug. What a cutie, isn't he? And then Cookie on my lap. Okay, bye.